Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're testing every single mask in the world. Especially focusing on HEB at this very moment. We just did an HEB test, we're gonna do another HEB test. If you go to an HEB and you go to the checkout, you're going to see this mask. The HOM, or maybe mispronounced HOME, I'm not sure, uh, mask. It's a KN95 mask. Super excited to test this one. And if you're asking yourself, what is HEB? Move to Texas, would you? Like, get with the program. I, can't, I don't have time for this. All right, this is exciting. Uh, we're gonna look at the uh, the clamp cam here. This is a totally different uh, style of uh, clamping action that we're gonna be doing because this is specifically made to test a CAN95. Usually we've done a lot of, if you're watching our videos, you've seen a lot of uh, surgical mask tests. This is for CAN95s. It's made for it. Put this in here like that, so. And then this goes on it, and this has uh, got a rubber edge on it so that it gives a nice seal. And then you put this in here, and then it's gonna clamp down like. All right, um, and let's let it rip. Hum, let's see how you do. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency. If you wanna find out more, check out the link. All right, H-E-B. HEB has two masks ever, crazy. During the whole pandemic, they only had two masks and I think they bought way too many of these because these ones are the only ones you can find at least at my local HEB in the Austin, Texas. So are they making any um, claims on here? I'm not seeing that they're making any claims except you could argue that saying it's a KN95 is a claim in itself because KN95 is a format in China that says that it meets 95% filtration. And there you go, particulate filtration efficiency, 95%. Um, and it's got 95% bacterial filtration, so this should do 95% or it's not gonna be a very good mask. Um, looking on here, this is like one of those like hangy bag things. Obviously I opened it. All right, I only have one to test, so I gotta be very careful here. Great nose wire, wow. That's phenomenal. And the construction seems to be pretty good. I'm gonna put it on first and get the smell, then test the ear loops just in case. I don't like the way these things look, but they do provide for some folks a pretty good seal. Um, I've just never liked the flat phone format. I don't know why. All right, if I smell, okay. I'm gonna call this removing tape from an Amazon box. You know, back when Amazon didn't have the paper tape, the plastic tape, you remove that. You kind of get that smell. That's what it is. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not unpleasant, I would say. Um, I don't think this is an actual KN95 because I believe with the KN95 standard in China, you have to uh, you have to actually put the standard uh, listed on here. Just like with N95, you have to have a specific number in there. So that's that's making me question them. Let's do the ear loop test real quick, and then we'll look at the results. That's pretty good. Typically, KN95s are pretty good. I'm. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna fall off on your face, but yeah, that, that's pretty good. I mean, these ear loops are, are really good. But does that matter? It doesn't protect you. Let's check it out. What does the machine say? 98%, <laughs> I gotta admit, that's a pretty good mask. Maybe that's why they pulled the uh, surgical mask out and they only started putting the, uh, the, the HOM masks in. 98.183, 98.183. It's a great mask, uh, can't deny it. Looking at the breathability, I'm actually a little concerned. So typically, you know, we like to see um, something below 100 pascals, and they say that anything below 150 pascals, you want it to be lower, the more lower the, the breathable it is. Um, you can wear it for eight hours. Uh, but honestly, like when I wear a mask that's got 150 pascals, I have a hard time breathing after a certain period of time. This mask is twice that, 300 pascals. Now. Being on the N95 scale, giving a little bit more ceiling, we expect it to be a little bit higher. And N95, we actually wanna see below 250 pascals. Throwing a lot of numbers out here for you. All you need to know is that this thing is about twice as hard to breathe through as any other mask that you should be expected to wear. So it may be a great mask, but the breathability is actually one of the worst that I've seen on this machine. So there you have it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this, uh, I, have, I have a favor favorite ask. I know what you're going to think. It's like, oh, like, subscribe. Blah, blah. No, I hate that. I'm over that. I have so many likes and subscribes. I don't even know what to do it. I don't need your likes and subscribes. What I do need are your masks. 
So I'm gonna put a link below. I need you to send me your masks that you want me to test and I will test them in this machine and I'll give you a shout out and your home address. I'm gonna tell people where you live. A little weird, I know. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next test.